Hi, I'm Colin. Welcome to Learn Somatics. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brief sequence to address IT band syndrome, which is generally the result of tightness in the TFL muscle here, just on the top outer part of the hip. So we're going to begin this one on our side. So let's change positions now. So for the first movement in this sequence, we're going to start on our side like so. Knees about 90 degrees from the hips. And you're going to have the side you want to work with on the top. You can rest your head on your outstretched arm or you can use a mat or a pillow like I'm doing here. So you're going to, your TFL, which is the main muscle that's going to be making your IT band tight, is located just where your entrance to your pocket would be if you're wearing a pair of pants like this. So you can literally put your hand, your finger just inside your pocket and press down and you're going to be right on the area. Now, if you've got IT, uh, IT band syndrome on one side, it kind of indicates that there's some an asymmetry of tension in your pelvis and trunk that's making your pelvis a little off level, which is giving you more pressure through one leg, which leads to these kinds of problems. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the waist to loosen up a bit first, and then we can get into the uh, leg. Or, but when we do this first movement, we're actually going to be getting both those things at the same time. So to begin, place your hand uh, just on the top side outside of your hip, and you're going to roll your, your leg in, your top side leg in, so that your foot picks up like so. So you're internally rotating your thigh, that picks up the foot. And if you put your finger right here on your hip, you'll feel that this muscle here gets very, very contracted. That's good, that's what you want. That's one of the muscles involved in this action. And from here, you can just slowly let your leg come back down. And that's gonna relax that muscle, that, your TFL. And let's repeat that again, rolling the leg in, keeping the knees together, foot floats up. We can feel the tension here and then slowly coming on back down. Now we're gonna add a little something to that. We're gonna get a bit more of the trunk involved here to help level up the pelvis. As you internally rotate the leg, picking up the foot, you're gonna draw your hip to your armpit like so. You'll feel, if you use your hand, you can feel your waist is good and tight now, that's good. And then you can slowly let that come down, relax your waist, relax your leg, relax your hip, all the way to rest. And we're gonna add the top half to this to make a full side bend. So we're gonna put our hand over our head like so. And we're going to roll the leg up, draw the hip to the armpit, and then just pick up the head like so. This will create tension all down the side of the body. You're getting the waist, the internal rotators of the hip, as well, and then slowly come on down. And let's do that just two times more. Rolling the leg in so the foot picks up, hip to armpit, and then picking up the head as well. So we're using our, we're using our trunk to pick up the head. So I can take my hand away. I'm not using a lot of effort through my arm. And then slowly come on down to rest, letting the waist get lengthened and the hips soften out. And we do that just one more time. Breathe however feels comfortable. Make sure you can feel the tension here in the waist and in the hip. You may not feel a massive amount in the hip, but if you can press it, you feel it's hard, you'll know it's working. And then slowly come on down to rest. Okay. So that move, that's your side bend essentially, and that will release your waist and a little bit into the TFL as well. Now from here, you're just gonna drop the angle of your knees a little bit, so move them a little bit away, and straighten your top side leg out. And arrange yourself so your knee is kind of resting in the fold of your, or in the inside of your foot. And you want your leg to be a little bit, not straight down, but a little bit forward. And from here, again, use your hand on your hip. You're just gonna pick your leg up in the air, straight leg. And again, you'll feel this creates, uses your TFL muscle. So you're contracting your TFL muscle deliberately. Again, you're gonna draw your hip a little bit to your armpits. You're gonna shorten your waist. So now you're getting both the TFL and your waist, and you have your leg a little bit forward. So you're getting the uh, hip flexor function of your TFL as well. And from here, just slowly let your entire leg melt down to the floor. Real slow, slowly relaxing your waist and your hip, and let your knee softly bend and rest on your lower leg. And let's repeat that. 
legs straight up in the air. We're a little bit forward and you can even you can even slightly turn your knee down towards, so you're internally rotating your leg a little bit, turn your knee a little bit down toward the floor. That'll make more tension. Again, shorten your waist, pulling your whole hip and leg into the trunk. And then slowly, and as smoothly as you can, just let the whole thing relax and come back down to the floor. Knee softens, leg gets heavy. And you'll feel it start to ease up quite strongly in your hip. Right, we're going to do that two more times just to be clear. Leg is straight, lift up in the air, feel that we're tight, slightly rotate the leg down, that's going to make it a bit more contracted in your TFL. Draw the, shorten the waist, draw the hip to the armpit, and then very, very slowly let everything soften out. The waist get long, let the leg come down, and let the knee bend, and the leg just sort of collapse in. And you'll probably notice as you do this that you're knee will start to feel heavier and heavier on your other leg each time. That's good, that means this area here is softening out. Last one, lift the leg up, little internal rotation, shorten the waist. So if this is tight, this is tight, down the leg is tight. And then very, very slowly and as smoothly and carefully as you can, just let that whole side lengthen out, let the leg come down, let the knee soften and bend and the entire leg just rests down and that leg's starting to feel quite heavy on my lower leg now so it's a good indicator that this is all softened up okay so that's the sideline portion of this sequence let's lie on our back and see where we're at so lay out flat on your back and just compare the feeling of the side you've been working with to the side that was at rest and notice what's different if you've gone nice and slow and taking your time, you should be feeling quite a bit longer down that side and you probably have a sense of that leg feeling more flopped out. Yeah, and I've got a bit more flop out on that ankle now, or on that foot. Okay, so I just flipped around so you can see that we're going to work with the same side leg again. We're going to bend the knees. Knees bent, feet flat. And we're going to do a movement on our back now to take in the hip flexion part of this muscle, this TFL. So, so to begin, you're going to just lift your knee in the direction of your chest a little bit, and you can press a little bit into your left foot to stabilize yourself or through the foot that's on the table or on the floor. And you're just going to imagine you're stepping out over an obstacle, like so. And as you're stepping out, you're gonna let the leg come down and straighten, nice and easy, nice and controlled, and then slowly, Relax to rest. You're going to slide your leg back to bend. And we'll repeat. Knee to chest. Doesn't have to get knee in the direction of your chest. And we're just doing the action of like taking a big step. Straighten out the leg as we bring it back to the table. Nice and slowly. And relax. Now, you can Moderate this if you need to, you can make it smaller. So pick up a knee like so, reach out just a little bit like so. And if you do it like that, when your foot touches down, just slide your leg long. And that can be your movements. And then as you become proficient, you can make the movements larger, like you're stepping over a larger obstacle. This is gonna get the front of the thigh, but also the hip as well. And gonna really loosen up that leg. Okay, let's just do that one more time. Knee to chest, stepping out over the obstacle. We'll do a smaller one this time. Let the foot come down a little bit, then you can slide out long and relax. Let both legs be straight for a moment and check in with that. Again, just compare the feeling of the leg you've been working with to the side that has been at rest. See if that just doesn't feel more relaxed, more loose, more open. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do with this leg is we're going to just internally and externally rotate the leg a little bit. So we're going to internally rotate the leg in. That's going to get your TFL a little bit as well. And as you do that, draw your foot up towards your shin and you'll feel your back kind of flattens a little bit. And then let that relax. 
to do that three times. Roll the knee in, the knee bends a little, foot towards the shin, and flatten the back. So we're just turning the whole leg and foot inwards. You'll feel we're getting this area here again. Slowly relax, let the leg flop out. And one more time, leg turns in, soft bend the knee, foot to shin, flatten the back. And then slowly relax. And then we're gonna go in the opposite direction. We're gonna roll the leg out. And we're gonna arch our back a little bit. And then slowly relax. If your knee bends a little bit on this, that's fine. Rolling the leg out, arching the back. So now we're going into the opposite direction with the hip. And relax, and again, rolling the leg out, arching the back, and relax. And then just a couple of times, let's just roll in, flattening the back, and out, arching the back. Just do that a couple of times, nice and easy and free. It's going to feel how the leg is kind of integrated back into the trunk. Okay. There you can let your other leg be straight. And again, just check in with that and see how it feels. You should be feeling quite a marked difference between those two sides now, having done that. So that sequence addresses the IT balance, TFL, waist side of the hip, among other things. Give that a try, then get up, have a walk around, and see how it feels through that leg. When you're done, come on back, do the other side so you're nice and even, and then you'll be, you'll be good to go. If you found that helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.